And this is what's really sad about this particular game. There's very few people playing. And that's what you normally will see. You may see two channels maybe. But this one I can't even access. As you can see, look at them all. No one's playing them. The game is dead. It's just a dead game. And it's unfortunate. It's uh, the ones that do have players, you got to join up with them. You know, you got to go through their hoops to be able to join their server. Dev is still working on the game, don't get me wrong on that. But there's no bots, AI to speak of in order for you to do what you want to do with the game. I made a simple suggestion, now back in the 90s there was a game, I can't remember the name of the game, Life of Me, that allowed you to fill both sides with bots and when human players came on they would replace the bot. So if you had 32 players and say 16 bots on each side and if 10 players or 5 players per side joined then it would replace 5 of those AI bots. And I cannot see them not, this game will not survive. There's a reason why people aren't buying this game anymore. It's because you, you don't often have a chance to play. Look at this drill camp, all you do is you drill or you sit there and you talk to each other heck I can do that on wherever it's 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 stupid it's just sad to see this happening and the people who are against AI bots um, you can actually like I said even with that older game you were actually able to edit the bots that react like human beings and I can't remember what game that was it was back in the 90s and God, it was such a great little game. Um, and they could do so much in that game. The bots were able to do. I mean, even if you go back to um, to the Half-Life mod, um, Day of Defeat, uh, you could use Sturmbot. And you could really, really, when you take your, took your time to do the bots properly, you could have one heck of a fight. And that's exactly what ended up happening is, uh, you know, you can have, uh, if you had 32 players, you can have, uh, you know, 10 bots on each side and let, let the, the rest of the slots open for human players. It was crazy. And you could play. It was just a lot of fun. And you could do some in, in, intricate stuff with those bots, even back then. Uh, even now you can still do that. Um, and the people who are against the bots are the very people who who are part, part of these clans. And when you're part of these clans, some of them demand that you you have to play, if you sign up to this, you have to play it on whatever day they say, say it's Friday, at 8 p.m. Eastern time or whenever and you got to sit down and you got to be there right or they can kick you off so it's horrible it's just horrible and like I said this game is dying because of this this is the way it normally is it's really quite sad I wanted to put, make one more video about playing and I thought okay oh I loaded up oh it was one 139 I think at one point and then I started clicking on it going holy crap I can't even join it it doesn't even have a lock feature to it so it's obviously password or something so it was like well what's the point I can't play this game now what the heck type of money did I pay for I paid full price for this damn thing I can't even play it like I said on the busy time you might see maybe say uh, 150 players playing here 149 here and uh, not in these places but you know in the state of players and another 50 out of uh, 150 
And that's it, the rest are empty. How can a developer not look at that and go, you know, man, we've got to add AI to this because this is just not going to work. But when you add, and, and the thing is, is, I mean, how, what is so freaking complicated for AI in this? All right. If you have human players and you have a, a, a commander, well, he says form a line here. The AI would follow that command as well. It's not like you have to climb over things and do this. I mean, I play games every day that have incredible AI to it. That's really intricate commands. But yet these people who, they, you know, it's so funny. People think that just because you have AI in a game doesn't mean you have to use them. It's like V-Sync. You don't have to use V-Sync if you don't want to. It's an option. But these clowns who get so threatened by, oh, how dare you? Uh, ask for AI. We can't play multiplayer no more. And it's like that's not true. You can play multi multiplayer anytime you want. And then they complain, you know. And after you explain it to them, they come back. Well, nobody will play multiplayer anymore. Well, that is plain stupid. Because what you're trying to do is strangle the game, so no one buys it anymore, because no one really plays it, or they've got it locked down like this one, or, you know. It, 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 you're insane the way you think you, you, your thinking is wrong There's, the depth seriously has to start considering adding AI all this is is all the American uh, Civil War is about holding ground if you are to if there's three points that have to be concentrated on then you have three points to take care of it's like, I play a game called, um, oh, Scourge of War Gettysburg. It's all AI. You can also play, um, uh, you can have, of course, there are, there's AI, but the thing is, you can also have human players playing multiplayer and have, still have AI. It's wonderfully done, that game. And it's really quite intricate for AI, but you get issue you your, your commands. Your, uh, I mean... Lazy developers who don't want to use AI, they're being lazy because they just don't want to put the work into it. And that's all there is to that. Now, I don't know if I've ever seen the dev, this particular dev say, no, we're not going to have AI. But the people that I hear no know, know from are these idiots who love the game just having 125 players. Let's see. What's that, 125? 130 players max total online right now. And for what? These drill camps, all you do is you stand there and shoot. Or you have someone training going, okay, I want you to command here and do this. It's like, come on, man. I, I bought the game I want to play. Right now, I can't play. Even if I join this, this stupid, stupid drill camp, it's dumb. This game is dead. It is a dead game. And unless the developers want to get off their arses and start coding it in AI, this game is gone forever. It just is. It's an expensive game, guys. So right now, all I can really tell you is don't buy the game. Just don't. Sure, on Friday and Saturday, you might be able to jump in for a couple of hours. But right now, I want to go play. Well, I can't play. So I'm sitting here making this video. I was going to make a gameplay video, and it's like, I can't even make a gameplay video. Anyway, I'm kind of ticked, but um, stay away from this game. Just stay away from it. If you want to sit and watch this instead of playing the game, hey, then man, go ahead and buy it. The game's not worth it. When you're able to play it, it's fun. But that's when you're able to play it. And just because, oh, geez, I can go here at www.join uh, join the ironbrigade.com, you have to live by their laws and rules. And if you don't like them, well, tough it, you know. If they say be here at 8 p.m. and you are to play, and if you don't show up, 
they'll make note of it and then probably kick you off because you never showed up because you're not listening to the rules and regulations. Well, if I want to do that, I'll join the army again. Okay? But I'm no longer in the army, so I'm sick and tired of people trying to tell me what to do. So, stay away from this game. It's not worth it, guys. At least for right now, anyway.